your boy Crash Rory, do the Dash Rory, and listen to the Kickback Show Dash Radio. Skrrr, skrrr, skrrr. Bitches like hey. famous. You can find me in a spaceship. You can find me in a spaceship. Sliding with your shorty off the molly, ready to take it. Yeah. I can't trust nobody but my Glocky and my Casey's. She just wanna smoke all of my weasel shorty. Who's your favorite rapper? Gucci Man. Gucci Man, hands down. You said that with the quickness. Yeah, yeah, and why that? Huh? Why I, him? I just grew up on Gucci Man. Like everything I know about just like He's tight, don't get me wrong, I fuck with Gucci Man. Yeah, like he he he, he told me a lot about the streets, he told me a lot about getting money, he just told me a lot that you can't trust a lot of people. Smell. I just wanna lay up with a nigga like a finger roll. I just wanna eat up on that pussy like a dinner roll. My bitch, she's a model, she full throttle, she a cinnamon. <laughs> And we're back, Hollywood, California. It's the Kickback Show. It's your boy, the DJ TJ, and we got Rari in the building. What's good, Rari? What up, what up, man? Welcome to L.A. Shit, man. So I hear you're like Ohio's best rapper right now. Is that true? Yeah, most definitely. (laughs) So from what I understand, you came up, you used to what, like manage a bunch of DJs and promote parties, or what's what's that all about? Yeah, yeah. um, When I was like 18... I used to manage DJs. I used to throw like parties and shit in like Columbus and Cincinnati. So, any big events? Like, what's the biggest show you you threw? Um, the biggest I threw. Uh, or one of your most memorable events? We like that shit right yeah, there was popping. Nah, nah, I threw, I threw a lot, a lot, a lot of events. Um, probably uh, I had did this um concert in this warehouse that we had. Guy was kind of like this abandoned warehouse. He okay, crazy ass concert. Which usually tend to be the better parties, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. I also uh, helped with this um, event that was thrown at an aquarium. Okay, an aquarium? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had rented out the shark tank. You rented out the shark tank. Please go into detail, because this sounds tight already. I've never yeah. been to an aquarium party. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, the aquarium, it's like the, um, the aquarium. They used to have, like, birthday parties and stuff in, like, the little area where they had a shark tank. So I had... Uh, this uh, little college organization, they had, because um, I know I couldn't do it on my own, so I had them basically tell them that it was going to have, like, some type of, like, banquet or something right. there. Make it seem somewhat professional, but you knew that shit was about yeah, to turn all was, the way up. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, we want to have a DJ, blase, 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 right. and uh, it was, like, in a little Shark Tank area, and um, we ended up, end up getting it, and we ended up throwing one of the craziest parties That ever. sounds tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah No yeah, fish died or nothing? Party. Nah, nah, No nah. accidents? It was just like Nobody the, got thrown in the shark tank? Nah, like all the walls, <laughs> all the walls was just, um, yeah, it was just sharks swimming around. That's like tight. Walls. That's tight. Nah, That's that some P. Diddy crazy. shit right there. No, nah, no, nah, that was some crazy shit. I used to call myself that. I mean, my niggas used to call me Next Young Diddy. Right. And we <laughs> throw parties at aquariums. I mean, come on now. Yeah. That is nah, next that level. That's the first time I've ever heard that shit. Let me know when you throw another party at an aquarium. I'm turning up. You know what I'm saying? It might happen soon. You right? You know. still throwing events out there, or? Uh, no. But it's like now, when, since I got the music, mm-hmm. I know how to do my own events, or I know how to set up my own tours. And That's what's up. Work with other promoters. And you're pretty well networked, and, I assume, from throwing all these events too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Most That's what's definitely. up, man. So, so you're out here in LA now, from what I understand. Yeah. What's I, that LA life treating you like? Um, the weather is amazing. The weather right. is amazing. Uh, a lot of beautiful people. How long you been out here? Um, a year now. Okay. Yeah. You had your first LA Christmas or not? Nah? Um, uh, yeah, um, kind of. It's kind of weird, huh? It's all tropical and shit. Like yeah, it was like eighty yeah, this year. I'm like, I can't nah, get nah, festive. Nah. I can't get like in the holiday spirit where I'm like, Christmas time and it's like hot. I'm sweating and shit. You know, the palm trees are swinging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of already lost the Christmas spirit. I kind of lost that a little minute ago. He said, "Man, Santa fucked me over back in '89. I'm not going back down that road again." '89. <laughs> I don't know. How old are you? Huh, 22. So maybe not 89. So. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not 89. So from the internet, <laughs> internet tells me you found out you had a little brother just recently. You just found out you have yeah, a little brother or something? Yeah. What's that all about? Um, I was just on the net for, I was out in New York. And then um, sometimes, you know how like Twitter, they have like the little request of people that don't follow you. Right. So I just randomly was just going through it. You feel me? And I'm reading them. And then one of them, I had seen my name, like my real name in there. Like on the on the DMs, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. like in the little in the little the little preview. You're like, who knows my legal name? Yeah, nobody yeah, knows yeah. that name. Yeah, so I had clicked on it just to see, and right. he was just like, um, yeah, my name is Blase Blase Blase, right? And my dad's name, cause I'm a junior. Okay, me too. Yeah, I'm a We're junior, so it was like, um, my dad's name is Blase Blase Blase, right? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 
he was like, yeah, yeah, you my brother. Like, I'm being, like, for real. But like Same dad, different huh? mom. Yeah, yeah, same okay. dad, different mom. And then... um, He's like, I see you on, man. Put me on, bro. Come on, now I'm real yeah. family. And then my dad had ended up hitting me up probably, like, two, maybe an like hour and a half. Okay. After he sent oh, that Oh, right message. after that. Yeah, like, I didn't even hit my dad up. So I guess they was already talking about it. And he was like, yo, let him know. Yeah. And then he's like, did, you, did he let you know? Yeah, I guess, yo, because I had responded back to him and I was like, everybody think that's, this is rude, but I was like, how'd you find me? Right. That was like the first message. I mean, that's, I'd be throwing questions out yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah, I was like, how'd you find me? And um, basically, I ended up getting his number through my dad and he was basically telling me a story. Like, my dad be bringing me up and shit. See, if I was Rari, I would have sent him the track, Prove It. <laughs> automatically just send him the link <laughs> prove like it. prove it, prove it. <laughs> see, see what kind of details he's got I want to get into that this is prove it by Rari I'm a real tough shotter I'm a done daughter Ay. ooh 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 god damn okay, Rari Ay. Ay. I'm a real top shot, I'm a done daughter. I don't want the product, nigga, I want more jolly. Throw the rock everywhere like I'm Sean Carter. You ain't gotta take the dope, I got the best product. If you wanna keep your hold, then why'd you introduce it? No, I don't trust no hoe, I only trust my bruise. You better watch your tongue before your tooth you lose it. All these niggas talking tough, but pushing niggas, prove it. Prove it, prove it, prove it. Stack your guard so you can keep bail Anywhere we get it cracking, nigga Nigga anywhere, who I feel I don't feel no nigga in that area Crazy, baby, shoot on the daily I hate me, play me, but that don't not phase me 16 with a 16 and I'm a Mercedes If the cops pull me over, then I guess we race them With the ops on my motor, then I guess we chase them If they won't drop the charges, then I guess we face them yeah. I'm a real top shot, I'm a done daughter Product. If you wanna keep your hold, then why you introduce it? No, I don't trust no hoe, I only trust my dudes. You better watch your tongue before your tooth you lose it. All these niggas talking tough, but pushing niggas, prove it, prove it, prove it. Ay, ay, who are y'all? Fool are y'all? Tucci or shoot y'all? Road dogs, dogs, move y'all like low dogs. Cool bus, stool bus, fill up with groupers. Take that ice up your neck, I'm Rory the jeweler. Pitch stop, split stop, Gucci my mid box. My tick tock, tick tock, AP my crystals. Commas, figures, all with the pistols. Shoot at niggas, and I do not miss ya. Long nose barrel ripping all through your tissues. Say it in the street. If it's really a hit shit Feel my nigga feeling freaky in his bag in the kitchen I got niggas on parole Couple niggas died out old Couple niggas blind spot you Cause they walking with the pole I'm the realest on my soul Stay with soldiers, G.I. Joe All my niggas got a knot Ice a toilet out the bowl I'm a real top shot I'm a done daughter I don't want the Prada nigga I want my Jala Throw the rock everywhere like I'm Sean Carter You ain't gotta take the dope I got the best product if you wanna keep your hold, then why you introduce it? No, I don't trust no hoe, I only trust my producer You better watch your tongue before your tooth you lose it All these niggas talking tough, but pussy nigga, prove it Prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. Rari, that shit's tight Appreciate it You got a video for that out? Mm-hmm, shot by uh, Lone Wolf Okay, Lone Wolf is tight too Yeah, nah, he amazing and from what I understand, you got another hit record. It's got another visual coming out, Famous, right? Yeah, yeah, Famous Tell me a little bit about that. When's that supposed to drop? Um, It's not a date yet, but okay. um, I'm actually working with uh, All Dev Digital on the video. And uh, that's going to be a really, really big video. We're going to have a... Uh, we got amazing concepts. We didn't came up for it. So well, that's going to be shot by uh, my friend David Webb. Uh, but now nah, it's going to be amazing. So you haven't shot it yet. You're still going to shoot it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still going to shoot it, but... um. It's definitely coming soon. That's gonna be my uh no, that's not gonna be my next video. I have another video called Faces. That's gonna be dropping soon too. Okay. And uh that's also shot by David Webb. Word, word, yeah. word. Yo, young Kim Chi just stepped in the building. 
What's up, Kim T? This is Rari right here. Hey, so How you doing, man? go ahead and have a seat. Nice to meet you. We're like lucky to have you in the building. Go ahead and have a seat. We're actually running the show right now. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so how long have you been in LA? You said about a year now, right? Yeah, yeah, for like a year. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And um, any big plans for 2018? Do I have any big plans? Yeah. Uh, as of right now, no, but i just been working music. I'm right. just working, working, working. In the working. studio? Every day. Any big collaborations coming up? Um, Nah, I don't really don't work with a lot of people. Okay. I'm going to start in 2018. I feel like 2018, that's something I'm going to start doing. Right. I'm just so used to just making music on my own. But 2018, I'm definitely going to start working with more artists. Okay. Do you have any people in mind that you want to work with? No. No? No. Who's your favorite rapper? Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane, hands down. You said that with the quickness. Yeah, Gucci And why Mane. that? Huh? Why I, him? I just grew up on Gucci Mane. Like, everything I know about just, like... He's tight. Don't get me wrong. I fuck with Gucci, man. Yeah, like, he he, he, t he told me a lot about the streets. He told me a lot about getting money. He just showed me a lot that you can't trust a lot of people. I mean, a lot of stuff you already know, but right. it's like, it was kind of like the music helped guide me. You know what I'm saying? And Gucci, he, he down there claimed about seven of my summers, and he's, I still listen to him, even the shit he dropped now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's, dro he's still dropping hit after hit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which so. I can't even... And he's got cannot, a lot more coming not, too, man. I feel like he's not, like not, that hasn't even hit his prime Gucci. yet, and he's already killing it. Cannot not, not like Gucci, and my nigga changed his life. So. so you think he's one of your biggest hip hop influences? He's my biggest hip hop influence. That's what's to this up. Day. Him about, and Kanye West. What about you, Kim Chi? Who's your favorite rapper? Who? She a rapper too. This is Kim Chi. Kim Chi, this is Rari. Yes. Yes. What up? What up? What up? What up? How you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. 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 Um, uh, favorite rapper, man. I'm gonna have to say I was a really big fan of Notorious. Notorious. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, because those were the ones who brought it up. So you were oh, raised in Nebraska. I was. See, I'm Nebraska. West Coast. I'm gonna have to Nebraska. say Tupac on that one. He's not Nebraska. my favorite, but if I'm gonna pick one, Pac or, or Biggie, it's gonna be Pac. No offense. What about no, you? No, it's okay. That's Pac okay. or Biggie? Uh, you can pick Pac. one. Pac. I know. Huh? Definitely Pac. Tupac. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, why I picked Biggie. So that's two to one. You lost. I'm just playing. Fuck you. I just messed it. Um. So, Rari, you joined uh, Insomniac Mob. Tell me a little bit about Insomniac Mob, what that's all about. Uh, Insomniac Mob is just a collective of dudes from Columbus and Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Uh, artists, it's artists, it's designers, it's uh, models, it's, you know what I'm saying, a couple other, a couple street soldiers, you feel me? But um, they call you Insomniac Rari, right? Yeah. So that's basically your clique. Yeah, 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 okay. definitely, definitely, definitely. That's was the, that your promotion company too when you were throwing parties? No, 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 it wasn't. Um, I went by a different name when I was throwing parties, just like through the management. Right. But, uh, Insomniac. Not was, your legal name, right? Yeah, no, 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 no not that dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never. Like Young Scooter said, right. I got about six names. I could be anybody. Ain't that really? the truth? Yeah, I could be anybody. But we just know you was Insomniac Rari. How about that? Nah, for sure that. You got all kinds of cool stuff. So, um... Yeah, you, you know, big things popping. We got another record here you're talking about that you're just shooting a visual for uh, Season. And he, Season produced that, right? Yeah, yeah, Season. He from Cincinnati, Ohio, too. So all you guys, all Ohio cats, really? Yeah, a whole lot of Ohio shit, man. And then you moved out here a year ago, so what are your intentions now? You're in L.A. This is the big leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just to take it, you know what I'm saying? When you out in Ohio, everybody look at you as local. But right. Kind of like with my tapes, my shit's called Southside the Worldwide. Right. My next tape, I'm going to drop, it's called Ghetto Greatness. One thing about my sound, it's like this isn't no local sound. It's right. just this is worldwide. This is something that everybody can fuck with. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crowd yeah. worry on right. Crowd worry on right. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck your bitches like I'm famous. You can find me in a spaceship. Yeah. yeah. You can find me in a spaceship Sliding with your shorty off the molly Ready to take it yeah. I can't trust nobody but my blacky and my case She just wanna smoke all of my weasel Shorty face her. I just wanna fuck all of her friends Just like I'm famous Just like I'm famous
show. Rory need him to the show. I'm so cold like Eskimo. My next move, you never know. Zero, 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 four, I see another decimal. Sipping on this four up in this spaceship. Working by me on the spaceship. Sliding with your shorty off the molly. Ready to take it. Yeah. I can't trust nobody but my blackie and my case. She just wanna smoke all of my weed, so shorty face. I just wanna fuck all of her friends and let them face. Too, you got a ton of plays on YouTube. You blew up on YouTube too, or what? Mm -hmm. What's one of your biggest uh, records that you got that you put out on YouTube that was the most successful for you? Um, what they sing. And yeah. that's, that's that's the leading hit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they sing, and then like Southside and used to. Right. As an artist coming up through social media era, uh, how do you think like that affects like the next generation coming up? Because right now we're on this whole social media movement, you know. Like, how do you think that that's really affects like what the up and comers? Um, I feel like it shows, I mean, I don't, it was a moment where a lot of people felt like music videos weren't important no more. Right. Because it was like, they wasn't on TV and that, nobody that kind of like was MTV and VH1 them. stopped really playing music videos and started doing reality yeah, shows and shit. But, but YouTube is clearly showing, and even with like streams now, it shows how important right. videos are now and it shows how important it is to your career. And it just have people, they feel closer to you. You feel me? Like, I'm happy that my, my videos have did more success than maybe like my SoundCloud or something like that because it's like now when I go other places and people see me it's like they know it's me you know what I'm saying they can match the name with the face right and they kind of catch more of a vibe in that sense yeah, too yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like sometimes a visual will uh, do have more effect on an artist than than the song itself yeah because sometimes it's more heartfelt like cats yeah, will be yeah. like oh now I, I get it I fuck nah, with this nah, cat nah. you know you can rap and talk about all you want but all of a sudden you see someone in there with two Uzis. And a bunch of lowriders like, hey, this fool's for real. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that that's what you're doing in your video, but you know, you kind of catch that vibe. You're like, oh, I fuck with this cat or him yeah, or her. Yeah, nah, most definitely, happens. most definitely. That's what's up. Explain what ghetto greatness means to you. Uh, ghetto greatness is just um, just all odds. You feel me? Like, right. no matter where you're from, there's a ghetto every single where, every country, every state, every right. hemisphere. You feel me? But everybody may have them intentions to be great. Everybody want to be somebody. You feel me? And I feel like that's what I always was. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Southside Columbus, Ohio. Small city, small little neighborhood. Right. You feel me? But I always wanted to be great. I always wanted to do shit like this. So it's like, that's what ghetto greatness is. Ghetto greatness is coming from your ghetto. Right. And being great. So who goes harder, Cincinnati or Columbus? Um, On the music? Just in general. Um, We're talking ghetto greatness right now. I mean, if you're just talking straight ghetto, the Natty, because, you know, Natty, that's, that's, that's a real, real get money city. Right. So um, I could say the Natty, but Columbus, you feel me? I love Columbus. Right. That's they both got something different to offer, right? Definitely, definitely. What's your favorite hit record that you've done? What's your What's your um, favorite song that you've done, released or not released? Uh, Southside. 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 Um, famous. I love Famous. I love Famous just because I, the way it make people feel. You know right. what I'm saying when, when, when I play it, I, I can look at people and it can tell it, it's it's a it's a certain vibe they get from it. Right. But Southside is is my favorite song because it means the most to me. That's what's up. That's what's up, <clears throat> man. So and you're from Columbus originally, right? I wasn't born in Columbus, but I'm from Columbus. What was it like growing up there? Um, 
South Side, it was it was a little bit of everything. Okay. You feel me? Because it's like my neighborhood, it wasn't it wasn't even like an extremely bad neighborhood. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. a lot of like I was raised my grandma, so everybody was raised by their grandparents. Okay. So it was like old people's, you know, everybody had their own. Old thing. people and little young hoodlums running the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> people had, I mean, old people, they usually have like a nice crib, you right. feel me, grass cut. So it's like, right. they're like a really, really good neighborhood. It's just the people that you grow up with, you know what I'm saying, they were just so influenced by right. everything around them. You feel me? It was a lot of people that, that, um, that can get you mixed up in a lot of different things. So were you so, raised in the South Side? Yeah, I was raised on the South Side. Got it. Yeah. Was so, that considered the ghetto? Most definitely. Okay. Southside <laughs> is definitely one of the uh, the craziest places. The rougher parts of town. Definitely. Southside is always known. If you ain't got no business out there, just don't go. You're right. You feel me? And, You've been um, warned. Yeah. And then usually the only business people had out there was to visit their grandma. Okay. So it was like, oh, I'm going to go to my grandma's crib on South. And right. after that, I'm going to go back to Thanksgiving. I'm going back to the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, Southside, it was, um, it was pretty hectic. Okay. Okay. You got a pretty dope gold chain on right now. What does that say? Uh, what does it mean? Yet. It's insomniac. Um, since it's insomniac in Japanese, and then underneath it, it's just insomniac in English. Okay. <laughs> Why Japanese? Um, uh, my nigga Mills, he was just on the internet. He mm-hmm. was just looking up insomniac in different languages. Right. And then when it came up in Japanese, he was like, like, "Yo, that look hard. Yeah, like, right. yeah." Niggas was like, "Nah, that shit look hard." So niggas was like, "Fuck it, we let's let's run it." Right, like, Kimchi, you were just in Japan, weren't you? Yeah. What was that like? Oh, <laughs> I'm like over here. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, no, uh, Japan was absolutely amazing. It, the culture there is incredible. People are really respectful and like super loving out there. So, and and their fashion game like shits on everybody. Oh my like, god, that's where Asia's on point with the fashion. I literally was in like Harajuku and uh, a couple other the shopping spots every time I was there. Like, what was your favorite thing about Japan? Um. I like the streets, like seeing all the streets and right. like how lights cramped and it shit. is. And yeah, the lights and, you know, just like the architecture of how everything's set up is really, really cool. Right. And it's it's clean. So, you know, uh, that was that was a good part of it. Can't be mad at that. <laughs> yeah, you can't be mad Nobody at that. Nobody wants a dirty yeah, city. Yeah, well, I mean. Man, it was raining last week and I saw a dead rat floating down the yeah, river in the downtown like, LA. Yeah, like, man, LA, just, LA's a little right musty there, over right. here. Man, it was all bad. It was like, it was when it was raining, right? So the thing was just yeah. floating down the thing and I'm like, oh, this no, is, this uh, is all bad. Oh, no, it's all I bad. Mean, it was all over the story. Don't get me wrong. But. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. And you're from Nebraska, right? Yes. Nebraska. Yeah. And you're in LA yes. now working on the music career. Yes, I am. Good for you. You were doing some music in Japan too, right? Yes, I was. And it was, uh, it was fun. It was very inspirational over there. It made me like really uh, be able to come back here to like understand the process. Kind of puts things in perspective and, a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's good. Because you're not just you know around people who are the same like out here in the United States. Like you're with a different culture, and like you see the respect that people have. So you know, right. you feel a little bit differently how you put your work into your in what your work ethic is inside of your music. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. So, Rari, 2018 is going to be a big year. You say this is a big year for you, right? Huge, yeah. What can we expect from you? You got labels shopping you. You got events you're throwing. You're dropping new records, albums. What's popping? Uh, Yeah, labels always looking. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? You be clearing calls left and right, right? Just like, yeah, no. I'm still independent. Just to let y'all know. I know a lot of people think I'm signed and all that type of shit. No, right. I ain't signed no deal. It's still independent. still Southside Worldwide. Hey. Um... Music, yeah, I got a whole lot of music gonna be dropping. I'm working on Ghetto Greatness, and I'm be dropping some more singles off of Ghetto Greatness. I got on um, the Faces video about to drop. Okay. I got famous uh, spaceship that's about to drop. Um, and plus, I'm just beyond the music. I'm just working with a lot of different like brands and just people. Like with me, it's like like I was saying earlier. I want to start working, working with more artists, but it's like one thing I. I I do more. I work with a lot of just credits, period. So I work with a lot of different, like, videographers, photographers, right. uh, models, fashion designers. Like, I, I, I'm more in tune with that. You say you work with a lot of brands and stuff. You, you, you like, tapping into the fashion industry as well? Or what's that definitely, all about? Definitely. Definitely. I was about to say, yeah, I'm going to be working with a lot more stylists and designers. And I'm going to be back and forth to New York. I actually just got a little spot out in New York. Oh, nice. So, Congrats. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be dabbling, dabbling inside the fashion more. And, just, and what do you mean by that? Are you going to be, like, just doing photo shoots? Are you coming out with your own line? Or uh, what's... Yeah, I will be coming out with my own line. But, do you have uh, a name for that? 
Um, no, not yet. Okay, uh, well, we can be on the lookout. My, yeah, most definitely. But uh, just beyond that, I just want to work with just more creative people. You know what I'm saying? Like, Got it. Even people that, like, paint, you know what I'm saying, and, totally. and do design all that, they just have a different mind on, on shit to the point that just help with my music. Totally, you help you like, think outside the box a little exactly, bit, different perspectives. Exactly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to bring that fashion, I want to bring that, that art, and then bring it back to somewhere, like, where I'm from. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Because it's easy for me to work with a bunch of different artists and, Bring that back, but it's more special when you can bring more art. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Definitely. Yeah. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Um, Five years from now, at the Grammys. At the Grammys, probably accepting an award. You already got the spot in New York, so you're right um, there. Yeah. This was the first year I think they did the Grammys in New York. It used um, to be LA, yeah. right? For most part, I think yeah, it was... I got invited, and then our, my ticket was canceled because it wasn't submitted in time. Oh, wow. So here That's I am so... doing the kickback show. Was it Grammy weekend? <laughs> is this weekend? Or like, now I'm it's here like, oh no, it's at the end back. of this month. And we kick him back on the yeah, kickback show. I should be back. in New York, but Darn. not mad at that at all. Yeah. But well, we're coming up to a wrap on the show. Rari, I want you to plug your social medias. Let these cats know where they can really find you. Um, Twitter, Instagram, all that. It's all the same shit. Insomniac Rari, if I don't know how to spell. That's I N S O M N I A C. R A R R I and Samiak Rari. Follow me. Could you respell that one more time? No, yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm, just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Hollywood, California is the kickback show. It's your boy, the DJ TJ. Thanks for coming in. And this is Southside Rari. Be my wife, South Fair, fair, what is white? Earn my stripes, but I'm still the sign, nigga. From the